he's had less recovery since the vault to focus upon this ninth discipline. And Dan, you know, you know all about that. It must make a big difference if you've got an hour or more in which to take some sustenance, you know, get rehydrated, relax a little bit mentally as much as recover physically. Well, then you want to be the last man standing in the high jump in the pole vault, which means you're scoring more points than everybody else. But you're absolutely right. When other guys get an extra half hour, um, it's it's going to give them a little bit of an advantage. But I got a chance to talk to Harrison Williams as we watch the triple jump here. But Harrison believes that he's on pace to score over 8,200. And if the, he's on pace to score 8,200, then so is Devin and Solomon. And we could get three automatic qualifiers with the A standard right here at this meet, Tim. And I wasn't expecting that when the day started yesterday. Well, Devontae Steele takes his uh, opening effort. Scotty Newton had a no jump as well as Alonso Jordan. And so does, uh, oh no, Devontae Steele, 15 meters 39, excuse me, 50 feet 6. He's open at the wind, 2.1 behind him. So it is clearly gusting out there. Brandon Rulak, his jump a few minutes ago, had a 1.1 wind to uh, aid him to his 48 foot effort. Now, Eric Mathia. Oof. No. Lost all the rhythm in that. Almost fell forwards into the sand. And standing up, which is never a good thing. Mathia. Well, it's a 16.65 jump. A world class in the uh, triple jump. Conveniently starts at 17 meters. That's effort from him. Well, 15.01 with a 2.7 wind. He can go so much better than that. This is a 7.42 long jumper and 11.1 1 100 meter sprinter. Now, Devin Williams in this javelin throw. And that looks okay from Williams around 55 meters. And Dan maintaining his challenge for the win is Devin Williams. He's a 60-meter thrower at best, so 55, pretty solid opener. 56. Yeah, and he's, you know, he's, you can tell he's just a little bit worse for wear over there, just kind of uh, feeling, uh, feeling the effects, and the javelin can really be tough on the body as well. After all that they've done, they come over here and they, they're going to hammer their backs and arms. And this is Scott Phillip, the left-hander. He's almost to the 50-meter mark, but I expect Devin Williams will definitely improve, but here is an area you want to get a mark, Tim, right off the bat, but not, not a big risk of fouling, so you can really go for it at the beginning, but sometimes it takes a throw or two for you to find your tip height and just a little bit of your run-up and how you're, and you're setting up. These guys are probably throwing harder than they've thrown in practice. And for a lot of these fellas... Dan as their decathletes, it'll be their last competition of the summer, I'm sure. As we go back to this uh, triple jump. Well, that looks around a 52 feet effort there. So yeah, Tim, you mentioned that uh, world-class triple jumping started at about 17 meters. That's 55 feet, nine.